Someone is threatening to release nude photos of me that were taken when I was underage and I'm terrified that I'll lose my job and be arrested for what is essentially child porn. So as the title states, last year I was dealing with blackmail from someone who got a hold of nudes from when I was 14 15 I thought I would update now that it's come to a resolution. It's showtime, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, so you get more fun legal stories straight from Reddit Legal Advice. Hit the subscribe button now. Let's see how this plays out. Someone is threatening to release nude photos of me that were taken when I was underage and I'm terrified that I'll lose my job and be arrested for what is essentially child porn. When I was 14 15 I am now in my early 20s, I had a boyfriend who convinced me to give him nude photos. I wasn't thinking at the time that any nudes of me would essentially be child pornography, so I did it. In total I think there were probably about 100 images or so and a couple videos. He had them all on his computer, most were taken by me and a few were taken by him. I know that he showed the pictures to some people when we broke up, like had the people over to his house and pulled up the photos on his computer, I didn't know he actually sent them to anyone, which was shitty of him to do, but I asked his sister to delete the photos and she did. I then forgot all about it, it was so long ago, that until very recently I barely even remembered it happened. I don't want to give any identifying information out, but within the last year, I have gained a few hundred thousand followers on a social media platform. I make money from that social media platform and from partnerships I got through it, and it's now how I support myself. Yesterday, a guy I went to school with, who I didn't even realize was friends with my ex-boyfriend, contacted me and told me that he had those nude photos, and he would post them online if I didn't pay him $10,000. I do not know how he got them, but I know for a fact he does have them. All or most of them, from what I can tell, and the videos too. My reputation would be completely ruined by this, I would lose followers, and I know the partnerships I have, would end, and this is how I make my living so that would be a huge blow. Not to mention I'm absolutely terrified I'll be arrested for taking photos that are pretty much child porn. If they were taken while I was over 18, I would go to the police for him blackmailing me, but if I do that now I'll essentially be admitting that I took part in child porn. I should have known that my ex-boyfriend could have sent them somewhere else before his sister deleted them from his computer, but I just wasn't thinking at the time and I definitely didn't realize it would come back to bite me in this way. I can afford to send this guy $10,000, but I know if I do this probably won't be the only time he asks for money, and I can't really do it more than once, and my reputation will be completely annihilated, if he releases these photos. I don't know what to do here, and I'm freaking out really badly, can anybody help me, or give me advice? Should I go get a lawyer? A guy I knew in high school is threatening to release nude photos and videos of me from when I was underage unless I pay him $10,000, and I'm worried I'll be arrested or at least lose my reputation slash income. Here is what Reddit legal advice Redditors had to say. Sock Cernamlack wrote, keep any texts or messages from that guy. Go get a lawyer. Follow their advice. They'll be able to provide best way to contact authorities about that guy while mitigating risk for any legal or criminal fallback on you. New Machinist 22 wrote, hopefully, the police will see her mistake as a mistake kids make these days. Duke Maximum wrote, save the message. Inform him that, if he does not delete them immediately, you will report him for possession of child pornography. Let him think about exactly what a long prison term and sex offender registration would do to his life. Reddit Dawson wrote, call the police, tell them you know someone who is in possession of child pornography and is attempting to extort you. But I'm the one who took the photos, doesn't that make me just as guilty? Agast underscore Cornicon said, it is very, very uncommon for an underage girl to be prosecuted for production of child pornography that are pictures of herself. Is that a double standard? Sure your antagonist cannot go through with his extortion plan unless he wants to guarantee that he will go to federal prison for a minimum of five years. I guess I would understand if this was happening back when I was underage, but I'm 23, 
so couldn't they now prosecute me for it? Litmus Test 1 wrote, This is too important of a concern to rely on a forum full of internet randos. If you have access to $10,000 to pay an extortionist, you can certainly afford a couple hundred dollars for an hour of a real life, local criminal defense attorney's time to help analyze the situation. Jmurphy42 wrote, It's absolutely possible, and has happened before, but it's also rare. You're right to be concerned, and that's a large part of why you should hire an attorney. Advisor said, If you give him money he will never go away. Your nudes will not evaporate from his CPU upon payment. $10,000 now will turn into another $10,000, or he'll release them in a month. It's not like this is 1980, and he only has a few Polaroids that you can take from him. Get a lawyer. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe button now. So as the title states, last year I was dealing with blackmail from someone who got a hold of nudes from when I was 14 15 I thought I would update now that it's come to a resolution. I went to see a lawyer the day after I made that post. He drafted a letter formally telling the guy to fuck off, and was very kind in assuring me that I had nothing to worry about. It was radio silence from the guy, for about six months. Then I got an email from another address with the same demand, saying that the money needed to be sent in 24 hours, or the pictures would go live. I panicked and called my lawyer, asking him to meet me at the police station. He was really understanding, literally left his daughter's birthday party to come help me, and when we got there, we met with a detective, who was also really nice and heard me out. Long story short, we found out that the guy blackmailing me was actually, drumroll please, my ex-boyfriend masquerading as someone else. He was arrested, and it was also discovered that he had broken into my apartment on a few occasions, he had things in his possession that he could only have gotten by getting into my residence. I wasn't the only one who was being stalked, and they also discovered other illegal activity that I wasn't really allowed to know about. Anyway, my ex was just sentenced a few days ago and he won't be getting out anytime soon, plus I'm getting married in a few months and I'll be moving to another state far away from my ex. So I thought I'd update here with the good news. I was afraid that I'd be arrested and lose everything, but thanks to you guys I got up the courage to deal with the situation. I really appreciate the advice I got here. Thank you again so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, so you get more fun legal stories straight from Reddit Legal Advice. Hit the subscribe button now.